Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, Tough Fundman here, back again with another Minecraft Jurassic World Reborn video. In the last episode, we made the mammoth enclosure. Uh, I didn't do anything off screen this time because this is uh, recorded right after the last one. So, yeah. If you're wondering why I'm in the air instead of right at the mammoth paddock, that's because I just made a new beautiful thumbnail with shaders and stuff. So, if you're watching the mammoth video right after this, yeah, that's the new thumbnail. Hope you guys enjoy it. So yeah, we made the mammoth paddock, we made the little tunnel where you can walk through, and where you can go to Cretaceous Cruise. Uh, I'm gonna work on maybe putting a path around the mammoth paddock, so like, say if kids don't want to walk under the mammoth, like, if they're afraid of, oh, the mammoth's gonna step on it and get crushed or something. Yeah, I'll build, like, a path around the paddock. I'll figure a way to do that, since it is pretty big, but I'll eventually do it, because I mean, I cut through this huge stretch of forest here. Like, it's still not even fully cut through. Like, it's still got a few shrubs here on the side. So, anyways, let's get into, uh, the video. Uh, let me grab a gate. 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 I think this is really all we're gonna need for this episode. But, yeah, we're gonna be, uh, gating off the rest of the, uh, enclosures for Cretaceous Cruise. As you know, I put paddock fences over here to stop them from getting to the other paddocks, but that's not going to stop them forever. So, let's see the diagonal line. Hot oh, the game's decided to work with me. That worked surprisingly well. I didn't know if I was going to make these lines perfect. But they seem to be perfect. So let me just try to replicate that. And actually, I'm not going to have it fully down the whole stretch of the fence. Just like every few blocks is good. Now, go across. You know, and vice versa. Doesn't look as good as I wanted it to, though. This is pretty experimental, though. But yeah, you know, something like this. This looks alright. I think I'll do one more down. Actually, no, that would, like, I don't know, rip a visitor in half. So. I think doing that will, you know, it makes this look decent. I don't know what I'm going to do about maintenance entrances for the paddocks. Not all of them have straight entrances. I mean, they look straight on the map, but they're quite literally diagonal. They're zigzags. Because this is Minecraft, so, yeah. Don't know what I'm going to do about straight entrances. These fences are still electrified, I assume. Which makes them pretty crap. Which also makes it a hazard. Yeah, there should be a rule against standing up in the boat. People should have some common sense. Yeah, here's the Dilophosaur paddock. As you can see, we got our Dilophosaurus. Oh, the game is lagging hard. Let me, uh, turn down the render distance. I turned it, like, all the way up for the, uh, purpose of that thumbnail. Let's see, I know. There we go. Much better frame rate. Oh, my FPS actually isn't there. Let me... Oh no, that, that goes on in segments. Where's the better grass? I do want to try OptiFine Better Grass. Yeah, there you go. OptiFine Grass. 
you know, we got some Dilos. They're probably breeding. I don't mind if there's a lot of them. The only problem with this is that they can possibly escape into the woods here. They've only gone slightly deep into the forest though, so that's not a big concern. But it is a concern nonetheless. Glitching out. There we go. One under. It's gonna be a really short video. I should have saved some of the Cretaceous Crew stuff for this video. I am sorry for not doing that. Like, I didn't mainly this entire pet up without you guys. And yeah, colorful exhibit. Still got some links in the chain that are complete. There, full power. I don't know why there's stuff that's just incomplete. That should be full power. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put a trench at the bottom of the paddock at, at the end of this episode to extend runtime. And also to make it better so dinosaurs don't swim out. You don't have the gate at the top, and you have a gate at the bottom. Specifically for stuff like the Apatosaurus, the Supermidus, and the Baryonyx. Because they're expert swimmers, so obviously, well, Baryonyx and Supermidus, they're expert swimmers. Uh, I don't know about the other things, though. But, you know, Apatosaurus can swim, and you know, they might accidentally go into a Supermidus or Metricanthosaurus and just get eaten. And, you know, we don't want guests to see that. We don't want guests to see someone, I mean, a dinosaur getting killed. Alright, here we go. Yeah, as you can see, the Metricanthosaurus. I can't tell where they are, actually. Where Most of them started to migrate north here. I like saying north of the river bank. I'm also thinking of doing another park gate by the by the uh, entrance and exit of these exhibits. Oh yeah, see right there. Yeah, they're getting stuck in the jungle. The worst part about them getting stuck in the jungle too is that uh, they also get stuck on vines, and it's really annoying. Yeah, if they get stuck on a vine, it's really, really annoying to get them down. Like, I saw a Dilophosaur stuck on a vine, and I had to break, like, part of the tree to get it out. Like, them getting stuck is really big annoyance. Because, like, I spawned at least, like, 15, 20 Metricanthosaurs here on each side. Like, there's a lot of them. And they're still, like, barely able to be beat. And that is annoying. Same with the Super Minus, they're starting to go into the jungle more. So they have to spawn a bit more. The I like the green berry on it, they like to stay by the jungle because like, they're camouflaging, so that's cool. But most of the berry on it seem to be fine. Yeah, I also added habitats if I didn't show that. Yeah, this is exactly why I have a fence. Because of baryonics like this, we want to try and break out. Jesus, this wasn't a straight line. This is exposing faults in my builds. Surprise to be sure that it'll look good. I feel this building could probably be even better than World Edit to some degrees, but they work in tandem together because World Edit has like the slash forest and the slash smooth commands. You know, I feel this building could overtake World Edit if they add stuff like 
a slash smoothie and slash uh, slash forest. Because like effortless building, as I'm showing right now, it's pretty simple and intuitive. So you know, you don't have to learn a huge list of commands to understand how to use it. So you know, you can just start editing the world immediately. But yet again, world builder isn't as much as isn't as on a larger scale as world edit. So I guess that's its drawback. You know, it's good to see other world editing mods that are a bit easier than uh, the average world builder or world edit. Alright, Metapatosaurus is now fully stuck out of its paddock for now. Alright, now uh, time to build a dam. Now I'm going to need night vision potions for this. Night vision potion, potion, potion. Why isn't it giving me night vision? Maybe something wrong with the world. There we go. That was a good glitch. Alright, so I'm thinking the dam should start here. So let's build a wall. It's Trump, so amazingly put it. The wall will work with me. Work with me, game. Work with me. No. Seriously. Oh, now you just have to work with me. Okay, go to DM. Now they won't be able to swim under this. Actually, I could make Jurassic Park gates. Let's find an easy middle ground. And just use that. I think I might do that for every panel. Yep, that works extremely well. Oh, we know, let's not do it for that wall. Like making those paddocks for Cretaceous Cruise did save me some time. Yeah, save some time on this episode because it's definitely going to be a long one. So we've got him. We're on to. Let's 
see if they heard the voice for the first time. Jurassic Park theme starts playing, and someone in the theater starts crying. That is a very weird metaphor. Let's just keep building the game. Then I can stop these Lyplorodons from advancing farther into the main park. I'll have to, uh. Well, I don't have ACU, so. I'll have to figure out a way to get someone to fix that problem. do one higher up for the uh, carnivores, because they are much bigger. Here. Very glitchy. Back on the end, very honest. One kind of. So got a few more fences to go. Didn't mean to do that. You know, this mod is still a bit glitchy. See this is gonna overtake world edit. I think world edit's gonna be the king for a bit. It's become real. Oh, I'm doing diagonal line, that's why I can't pull up. Huh. I have to do diagonal wall. Gonna have some difference between the diagonal lines and walls. I gotta see how the main mountain looks with the new thing before I end off this episode. Cause it's probably gonna look really weird with the uh with the optifying thing. There we go. The wall here. Let's do a little 
dam, the, the dam is not fully complete. Cool. So what is worse than blocks and dinosaurs in the east? Yeah. I actually modded Jurassic World Evolution for my first time. I got the new 1993 Jurassic mod. It's a pretty good mod. Really nostalgic day to me with those Jurassic Park the game for rare source. I just love their coloration. It's perfect. And I like rarely like yellow. And stuff. So you know they look good. So there's the damn for complete. Well, this is the first time I haven't used that for this building in a while. Because I've just been using it. It's pretty much what I'm gonna do for everything now. Effortless building and world edit are the future. Nothing's made by hand anymore. It's all automated. Is that diagonal wall? Yes, that's diagonal wall. Okay. Also, yeah, I made the signs go both ways, so if you're going from that way, it'll say the lot of source. If you're going from this way, it'll say study source. I thought that would look weird if it was just one dinosaur. Well, one way. Because then you'll look back and it'll say Stegosaurus. Wait, I thought we were in the Dilophosaurus. Okay. Okay. Also, comment down below if there was any other uh, dinosaurs in Cretaceous Cruise that I don't know of. Because I feel like I'm missing something. I remember the movie scene having only a Patasaurus and Stegma, and the website said Microceratus, but does it also have stuff like, I don't know, other Jurassic herbivores that Jurassic Park might have had? Because I just want to make sure so it doesn't look weird. Uh, yeah. Anyways, this looks horrible. It's not in his writing. Oh shit, to be a weapon. I'm sitting at the sunset. Alright, so the uh, mountain doesn't look weird, that much weirder with the optifine grass. Actually, never mind, that looks very weird. It just doesn't look right. That boy ain't right. Also, time to uh, show you guys something I've been working on in the safari pattern. A mountain. Placed a bunch of uh, stone spheres, then I smoothened it out. I'm going to do naturalize in a minute. Actually, I could do na slash naturalize right now. But yeah, I've been trying to uh, smoothen out some mountain terrain for here. Because I still want this to be Galamines Valley slash the... Yeah. So what I gotta do here is uh, build up from this point. Actually, no, that's too far. Gotta push it a bit back so it will cover everything else. This is about good. It's about as high as this thing goes. Oh, that's my help. Grab my X. First position. Just walk directly diagonally across. Jungle. I'm not past the end of the mountain terrain. Is that the end of the mountain range? Alright. I'm trying to.
There we go. It's made to look more natural. So let's check it out. It doesn't immediately appear on the map. So let's go over here. Oh yeah, that stone. It's not an alien monolith, that's just uh just where the entrance to the path is gonna be. Looks like the Gallimimus have ran through here a lot. Alright, we got more natural looking mountains here. Much better. Oh, that, that was normal. Oh, this is the But yeah, I spawned a bunch of Gallimimus. You can tell these are female because they have the little stripes on their back from Jurassic World. I might be in the minority here, but I really like the little stripes. I don't know why. It's a nice little detail. Alright, these guys went naturalized. That's alright. The point is, we got them on as naturalized. And so I had a few Diplodocus here. They were supposed to be posing as a Pandasaurus, but I now have a Pandasaurus, so I can go with them for now. Alright, so, yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode of Minecraft Jurassic World Reborn. Uh, let's head through Cretaceous Cruise and, you know, we can actually start working on the northern part of the island. Because we've been here, I don't know if this is the southern part of the island or the middle part. Because the southern part of the island is kind of desolate. All we got is a monorail. So I guess this is really more of the northern part. Actually, no, this is more well, mid of the island. This is the northern part of the island. We got the Raptor facility and the thing. So let's ride through Cretaceous Cruise and sort of send off for this part of the series. Right, now I'm not going to use this boat. This is my own boat. And let's go. I don't know if I'm the source. The source is a bunch over here. They've grown on me a bit. I don't. I still don't like the pastel color that much, but they're acceptable. You know, maybe we can get like a deep black or red or something for later for later updates. But right now, I'm pretty happy with the super minus.
All right, that is the full Cretaceous Cruise River tour then. It's pretty good. We have the visitor center and a killer the tour of Haddock. All right, now this next few episodes. Well, it's not going to be a few episodes. It's going to be quite a while. It's going to be a lot of uh, World Reddit. Not World Reddit. World. Whatever the mod's called. Uh, let's go to save toolbars. Alright. As you can tell from what I just grabbed. Next time we're going to be building the uh, Hadrosaur Plains Enclosure. This is going to include... All the Hadrosaurs in this mod, the Parasaurolophus, the Edmontosaurus, the Corythosaurus, and the Lambiosaurus. I think, let me just check. Yep, that's a Hadrosaur, alright. He still looks like one, correct me if I'm wrong. Got the Retro Jurassic Park gates. Actually, you know what, no, no, no. I'm not doing these guys next episode. I mean, we're right by the aviary, so let's do the, uh... The Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus Egypticus. I'm gonna build this paddock around this area. It's gonna be pretty huge. So yeah, uh, next time, we build Spinosaurus paddock. And after that, probably the, you know, Hydrosaur Plains, then Herrerasaurus, and probably like the Manchi, you know, all alternate between herbivores and carnivores for a bit. But, yeah, that's going to have to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, join the Discord, follow the Twitter. See you in the next one. Peace.